Hi everyone, this is Temperance from Comic Crazy Studios, and today I'm going to show you my char. Uh, char is a character from Guild Wars 2. It's a video game. Um, he is consists of about five pieces. Uh, there's a torso piece, uh, legs, tail, and feet are all attached in one piece, a bit of leather work, and his head. So he actually doesn't have very many pieces to him. Um, I'm going to show you each individual piece and you can take a closer look at some of the details. So we'll start with the torso. Uh, it's a spandex underbody suit with some pillow padding and then there's furry sleeves and the leather torso and that's it. So. There you can see the back of them. There's a lot of padding in this suit. It makes me far larger than I am in real life. All the leather is real leather. Uh, I weathered it with a mix of paint, ink, and shoe polish. All of the leather was stitched by hand, except for the panels. They were stitched on a machine. But I can get a closer look. All of this is a blanket stitch done with um, wax thread. All of the rivets were hand hammered. And then all of the airbrushing on the arms. So my head will come about here so this muscle padding here actually comes right up the back of the neck and the back of the head. And going off from there let's take a closer look at the legs. As you can see uh, it's all one piece. I have a most fashionable pair of suspenders to help hold up the legs. The feet and leather gauntlets here are attached. These have also been hand sewn with uh, wax thread. He has quite cute little feet paws on the bottom. And his tail is permanently sewn on. It is actually a pool noodle covered in fur and uh, there is a wire core so I can change the position of this tail any way I want and it'll stay that way. And <clears throat> going on from there here's a few more leather pieces. Uh, leather skirting and some belts and just for fun I made a few pouches. Uh, again, this leather uh, was weathered with um, paint, ink, and uh, shoe polish. Here's two more pieces of uh, the char, his paws. Uh, it's just a regular paw pad, uh, so, and then a gauntlet is sewn around it. Uh, technically, they're separate, however, the gauntlet is attached to the paws through these leather straps so they're pretty much firmly in place over top of the paws. Uh, same work on these, more leather work, hand stitching with waxed thread and uh, weathered with shoe polish, ink, uh, paint. The paw pads are silicone and the claws are resin. And now I'll take a closer look at the head. Uh, here's the head here. It's quite a long head. If you look at it, my head actually sits here and I look through the mouth. So it has quite a long arched neck. So my head is sitting in the back in the neck area. And if you see here, I have holes where the horns go. So he's quite the dominating figure. He has lovely horns on his head. He has a real whiskers on his face. Uh, rubber latex nose. Resin teeth. There is a fan in there and I look through the mouth here but you can't see it just the way I like it. And yes, chars do have two sets of ears. 
So I'm going to put those horns on and you can take a closer look of what he looks like all put together. Okay, so here's one of the horns here. It is a resin cast cow horn with uh, rigid expanding foam inside and as you can see there is a screw point on the bottom. That screw point will match up with the screw hole so I simply pop it into the hole and twist to tighten. There we go. And now that for horn is firmly in place. Now I'll just the same to the other one. So screw post into the hole. Okay, and then we just Okay, now we have two horns. There are a few more horns on this guy. Okay, and now for the sides we have a few more horns. These are cast, I think they're kudu horns. No, I can't remember. Uh, same thing, uh, there's a screw post in the bottom. Mash it to the screw hole. And then we'll do the same to the other side. There we go. And now our char has all four of his horns. So now I'm going to put this guy on and we'll take him outside and you can see how he looks walking around. Alright, now you can see I'm almost entirely charred up except for my head and my hand paws. So this is all the leather work. pants on, the treacherous tail, and I have a most impressive muscle suit which you can see makes me look very large compared to how small and petite I normally am. Alright, so let's take this guy outside. Well, after all that, I'm pretty tired and hot, so 
Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.